In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a link to anywhere within your ebook um, to link back up to the tables of contents. So this is in a response to uh, a support ticket that we just had in asking for someone to link to the table of contents from anywhere within the ebook. So this is an ebook I just created uh, on sailing and I called it Racing Sailing for the Over 40s, the Ocean's Playground. And um, I literally um, selected this template and chose sailing as the uh, tag and it automatically populates it with all these images and does all the layout um, for me automatically. I haven't touched this yet. So um, the table of contents, uh, as you know, is all created automatically from the H2s and H3s within the document, right? So... Um, as I go through the document here, you'll see here's uh, an item here, right? And this is an H3, the benefits of racing saying for the over 40s. Um, so this is called uh, an H3. That's the style that it's given it, which means that if I go into my table of contents, then, you know, it's automatically um, put in there and the page numbers are done automatically. So that's all great. But I want to link back to this table of contents so that if someone's like all the way down here, for example, um, and they want to go back to the table of contents to save them scrolling all the way up again to the top, um, I just want to put a little link in there um, so that they can, somewhere like here or wherever, um, so that you know they can just click on it um, and it will automatically link them to the top. So how do you do that? So first of all, I need to create what's called a bookmark um, in my document. So the bookmark is somewhere that the ebook knows where to navigate to. So I'm going to use the table of contents for my bookmark. Okay, so here's, here it is here. And so I'm going to select the table of contents text, right? Open up the menu here and click on this bookmark icon where it says create bookmark. So then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it TOC. Okay, so now I've given that uh, a name. So then what I'm going to do is I want to put, you know, the link um, in my document, but I want to put it on every page. And so the best way to do that is actually in the footer itself. Okay, because the footer is automatically on every page and that saves me adding that link um, separately to every single one. So if I click on the footer here, and then I'm literally going to push the space bar, just to create a little space, and then I'm going to put back to the top here, okay? Um, and then I highlight this, and I'm going to highlight it, the editor pops up with the link icon. So I click on make link, and then I'm going to select a bookmark. So instead of a web page URL. And so then I drop that list and select TOC. That's the bookmark that I just created. I put that in and then click OK. And now that's created that. You can see it's turned into a link. It's gone orange, which is the, the default color for a link in this particular ebook. So to make sure that appears on every page, and you might have the setting on which automatically duplicates it, but if you don't, um, then what you do is you go to the menu item for that text and you select this option here where it says apply text to all footers. And then when you click on that, it will automatically copy that to every single footer. And so you can see now it's down there on every single footer. So now if I publish this, okay, as uh, a PDF, Okay, so it's ready. I won't open flip, but I'll just open the, the actual PDF file, first of all. Okay, so it's opened it within my browser. Okay, um, and then I'll just scroll randomly down to a page. Okay, um, and then see here, it says back to the top. I'll click on back to the top, and it scrolls immediately back up to the table of contents. Okay, so when you download it to your desktop, it's exactly the same, okay? So this is the PDF downloaded. And if I click on the link here, 
it takes me straight up to the top. So, of course, you can put anchors um, or um, bookmarks anywhere within uh, a PDF uh, within your project, and so it will always end up in the uh, in the end PDF, which makes the navigation so much easier. So that's how to put internal navigation into your ebook. <laughs>